So we've just climbed up to a site called Peliacostro. This is in the hills around Argos, about a 10 minute drive from Tyrians. And you can see the coast from here. We had to come onto a uh, private property, no one was there, so we think it's kind of allowed access up here. But here, right on this rocky outcrop, and it's extremely difficult to get up here. You've got to climb over multiple levels of uh, just tumbled rock and outcrop and thistles. But we made it up the top here, and you can see these amazing polygonal walls. Again, like a Tyrion's, blended with these lower levels of bedrock. And so we're gonna have a look around. We know there's an amazing gateway up here, like a trilithon almost. We're gonna have a look at that while we're here as well. So let's get around there and take a look. So you can just see one corner here, of the quality of the stonework. It's not huge, but it's beautifully polygonal. I mean, look at some of the detail there. Just the small blocks in between the larger blocks. And not all of them are, you know, preci extreme precision. Some aren't very big. There's an interior space here and another level of walls up the top there where Cameron and Leader are. But this is like some kind of concave temple here. This could be a Tholos, like uh, that had, you know, like we see at Mycenae, which we have an interior kind of corbelled roof ceiling. You can see them leaning in here, going around. It's really quite amazing. polygonal walls just up here which we'll see if we can get closer to oh yeah we've got Cameron around the edge there and we do see some quite high quality masonry here resting on bedrock and these are puffy polygonal Cusco style blocks So it's heading up to the top part now. We're going to see, get inside there, get in the interior of the doorway. Look at this beautiful stonework though. That is just really nicely done. This is very reminiscent of Cusco. We have a kind of flat blocks here, standard, almost Hellenistic style. And it just goes into this absolutely stunning polygonal masonry all the way up to the, where it joins with the bedrock. You can see the top of the polygonal blocks here. You can see they've been shaped to allow more blocks on top. This is exactly like we find in ancient Cusco in South America. Just in the bedrock, just here, just on top where the polygonal walls are, we have these little cuts just carved out of solid rock. So we're just going into the interior part of the so-called castle and you can see again from the other side this like trilithon this lintel coming across the top and the back of the polygonal walls aren't as neat and tidy as the front this is like we find again this is a similar design spec to we see in italy and in peru now this post is just concrete just in case you were wondering so don't uh, get too excited about that but around here we have another very interesting, very neatly cut polygonal wall. Excuse me while I try and get down here safely. 
Now these look quite rough hewn, these ones. These are quite weathered, but again, they're very neatly put together. The quality of the craftsmanship is very high at this very unusually remote and difficult to get to site. <music> But look, look at the, this is so much like Cusco, the puffy polygonal stonework with the beautiful joins, very neatly done, almost identical to Cusco in a, in a bizarre way. So how was it that on different sides of the planet we have exactly the same, very unusual and difficult to create stonework? <laughs> 